This week in Chapel Hill, no injuries from a downtown residential fire early Tuesday. It's Park and Recreation Month. Building and Development Services is introducing a new online permit center with a limited launch this week. Chapel Hill Police continue pedestrian safety efforts near crosswalks throughout town. And this week's track from Summer Mixtape number 1. For the Town of Chapel Hill, I'm Rand Northam. The Chapel Hill Fire Department responded at 6.16 a.m. Tuesday to the report of a structure fire at 106 Keenan Street. Upon arriving, crews confirmed a working structure fire and immediately started attacking the fire. The fire was under control within 30 minutes of crews arriving. No one was injured because of the fire. Two residents were displaced. And did you know the risk of dying in a fire is cut in half with working smoke alarms? Have you tested your alarms this month? While you're at it, check to make sure they are less than 10 years old and if not, replace them immediately. This July, join Chapel Hill Parks and Recreation for Park and Recreation Month as we celebrate how Chapel Hill is stronger, more vibrant, and more resilient because of Parks and Recreation. This year's theme for Park and Recreation Month is Our Park, Our Recreation Story, and you can follow along on Facebook and Twitter as we highlight our local Park and Recreation Story. The Building and Development Services Department previewed a new online permit center this week with a limited launch of the new platform. The permitting and inspection system will allow applicants to submit building permit applications, track progress of their applications, schedule inspections, communicate with staff, and pay permit fees online. The limited launch period will last at least a month after which the town will publish an evaluation of the system and describe next steps. We have more information and a link to the new platform on our website. The Chapel Hill Police Department is continuing traffic safety initiatives this July with two remaining in addition to normal patrols with the main goal of improving safety for pedestrians. These operations are announced in advance to further improve safety instead of writing tickets. We have the dates listed on our website and more information about townwide efforts to make traveling in Chapel Hill safer. And Tracks Music Library, Chapel Hill's commercial-free streaming music platform, announced a new music collection for 2021 featuring more than 30 albums produced in the last two years by Triangle Area Musicians. New music will be released each Tuesday in July as a summer mixtape hand-selected by staff curators and showcasing a variety of genres and bands. Each week, we're featuring a new song from the Tracks Music Library. This week's track is Please Stop Calling Me by Wake Moody, featured on Summer Mixtape number one. And I said, Please stop calling me. I can't give you what you need. I can't give you what you need, baby. Oh no, please stop calling me. I know what we used to be. That don't mean a thing now, baby. Stop calling me. Find more local music free in the Tracks Music Library. We're halfway through the $1 million and scholarship drawings for vaccinated individuals in North Carolina. If you've received a vaccine, you're automatically entered into the drawings. If not, now is your chance. More information about these offerings is available online. For more information on these and other stories from the town of Chapel Hill, visit our website and make sure to sign up to receive news directly to your inbox. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Until next time, I'm Rand Northam. Remember, spread kindness, not illness, and thank you for watching.